Chinese boots, walking side by side, Smokey's demo. Three tart cloverleaf hills and a series of rails. Weaving eight markers on the horse's right side. This is me and Smokey, <clears throat> and we are walking together. He's was in a bit of a nibbly mood that day. So we're weaving between the markers, and I'm using my body language to tell him that I want to come towards him, and my belly button to push him away. So it's a drive and a draw. <clears throat> so I'm drawing him, and now I'm driving him round the last marker. I'm For the tarp, <coughs> we used um, plastic lids and nailed them into the grass. And I'm walking across the tarp with the horse on the horse's left hand side. You want to do it on both sides of the horse. And we set up markers <coughs> to make the clover leaf more obvious. And the marker was more for me than for the horse. Sometimes I chose to stop on the tarp. That was his restful place and give him a treat. Finesse start off. And I'm drawing him round the markers. And back onto the tarp. So you can see I'm making a clover leaf pattern. <coughs> and on this occasion we chose to walk right over the tarp. It's always good to keep your horse guessing. And a lick and a chew there from Smokey who thought that he was going to be stopped on the tarp and get a lick and a treat. We chose to walk over again and I'm doing another leaf of my clover. And my body language is asking him to come round and I'm trying to keep a smile in that rope. So there's lots of good reasons for doing this exercise, not least of which the horse happened to stand on the tarp. And then we did it on the other side. <coughs> because what you do on one side you've got to do on the other side. Um, the horse will think it's a whole totally different exercise because he's watching you out of his other eye. And Smokey thought we were going to stop there, so actually... Smokey won Bridget Mill, he won that one. I wasn't very clear in my instructions, as he pointed out to me. So I'm drawing him round this marker. Back across the tarp, so I've drawn a leaf of the clover leaf, so here we go again. <coughs> then do the next one. So the markers make it easy in that you can pick where you're going to go and concentrate on the marker, which helps helps one's focus. And stop there and have a kick of a treat because he's done very well. Finesse start off again, not terribly finesse, but And so you go around each marker <coughs> and back across the tarp until you've drawn your four-leafed clover. Um, Smokey's done a lot of trekking, but he's always been bad at racing down hills. So this exercise was really to see if we could get him to walk down the hill one step at a time without charging off. Uh, it's not really great if you're on a horse's back and they take off down a hill at a rate of knots. You can see there he actually rushed ahead of me. Good exercises for both horses and people. We just got, walked over an old dung pile there, which is why he's sniffing. Nice turn round and back down the hill the other way. A gentler sl slope this side, so he wasn't quite so rushy. 
and back up the other side. Now we're doing it on the other side. You see he's fighting a bit there, and we both of us had to put a bit of effort in to get up the top of the hill. And now a bit more, <clears throat> one step at a time, and a click and a treat. Every time he walks slowly down, he's doing much better here. Bit of a lick and a chew there. And up the other side. He stayed with me really nicely that time. Now, walking together over rails, this is very good for stretching your horse out. And again, keeping him with you. Um, we put in the cone to give another focus. Back over the rails. And at the end, we had a mat as a, a sweet spot to stop when um, he'd done well.